Coach Bogey was just in here and he said, you know, we didn't lose a game because of a timeout or not calling a timeout, but understanding that that play will get some attention. What is your kind of reaction of how that how that well, play it's, it's funny because Jay and I talked sometimes this week about how I had to trust him to put him in, leave him in the game, and it didn't come down to that play. The young man, um, the coaching staff mentioned to him that we had a timeout and. It, you know, he just he, he panicked, but the game wasn't won or lost in that one play. Um, it was lost in the first quarter. The the Elaze fair at, uh, approach we had defensively, they they got whatever they wanted, and it's similar to the uh, Charlotte game where we didn't come in and start turning on to the second half. And it's such a mountain to climb in this league when you get behind, but such and you have to scratch and claw. Your margin for error becomes very small. And uh, but it didn't come down to that one play. I know it's going to seem like it, and everybody's going to say it. But um, you know, it, it 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 you know it started way before that. The intensity that we had in the fourth quarter, they scored four, 16 points, uh, two for 16 or something like that. Our defense was big time, and but we can't wait until the fourth quarter to play like that. After the game, you know, Jay, you can see body language. I mean, he you know he feels like that was. That was it. Right, right. But you have guys like you know Corey came over, put his arms on him. Bogey came up. How important is it to have those guys? That, it's not just you saying, right, "Hey, there's right. more than that." But right. to have those vets that can no do it. No question. And they, they, everyone told him. Everyone told him that uh, it wasn't that play. Uh, you know, learn from it. You know, uh, to be in, he's going to be in a lot of those situations throughout his career. Understand that. You know that that five seconds is a long time to to throw it in to get it in. Uh, I have to look at it again, but I thought Bogey was open. But again, it did, I, I don't want to make a lot out of that play. It was way before that, way before that. And the fact that uh, the, our defensive approach, our offensive execution, getting the ball where it's supposed to go, our screening, our rebounding, all that went up after we got kicked in the teeth. And you can't wait. You got to kick in the teeth first um, and, and play with that desperation for 48 minutes. And we've got to learn to do that. As a young team, you, there's no team you can ease your way into that intensity. You got it. That's got to be your identity to start the game. Zach Levine, 41 points. He had 43 in Chicago earlier this season. What makes up some difference? That's who he is. That's that's what Jack, Zach Levine. Now he makes tough shots, uh, but you got to make him feel uncomfortable, Mike, uh, to start the game. If you get him coming, we were blitzing him. Uh, we were trying to get the ball out of his hands, but he he's he's going to make things happen. Uh, and your margin for area of, of rotations and, and traps and ro low man, or what we call it, being there. Uh, he re when he sees that trap coming, he's going to reject it and still try to beat it. And, uh, you know, but that's what who Zach Levine is. And today's game, that's big time when you can have a guy that can go and get you a bucket anytime he, he you know, wants to, basically. And, uh, but again, we didn't set the tone with him early and make him feel us physically. Um, um, and uh, if you wait to, to, you know, to the fourth quarter, it's too late.